Hi, I'm Bob Gruen. I'm a rock and roll photographer from New York City. And I'm going to tell you a couple of stories about my pictures, and I hope you like it. I had first seen Debbie Harry when she was in a band called uh, The Stilettos. Uh, Lisa Robinson, the editor of Rock Scene magazine, had told me I had to go down and see her. And, and when I saw her, I thought she was one of the most beautiful women I'd ever seen. Uh, she was amazing and really talented on stage. And then a few months later, they formed the band Blondie. And I remember going to visit them when they were recording their demo in a recording studio. And in those days, the early bands, they didn't really seem to be very important. Uh, the bands weren't all that great on a commercial level. In fact, one of the most common things that people said about bands was no commercial potential. Uh, because they didn't think the band would ever make it in a big way. Uh, it was more about having fun. And so when I went to visit Blondie in the recording studio, they were making a demo, and it just didn't seem all that important to take pictures of them in the recording studio. So I actually don't have any pictures of the demo session, but as we walked out, we saw this car wreck in the street, and there was a car that was upside down, and it had actually been upside down in the street for a couple of days. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know where the accident came from, but the car was just there. And so I suggested to Debbie and to the band, like, oh, let's take a picture by the car. Now, some bands would just stand in front of the car and, and, you know, kind of boring, just stand next to it. But Debbie's a great actress, and so she actually climbed into the car, and she came crawling out of the car, holding her head and looking up as if it was her car wreck and her car accident. And uh, Chris, the guitar player, stuck the guitar in the trunk like it looks like it's falling out. And so it looks like they had a car wreck, and I happened to just be there and capture the moment. Uh, now, just recently, Debbie was talking about that picture in a documentary and mentioned that we were kind of inspired by the Warhol series. I think it's called Emergency, where Andy Warhol has a series of silk screens of horrible car wrecks. And we were kind of copying that idea a little bit. And also, maybe there was some influence from the famous photographer, Arthur Felleg, who was known as Ouija, who was always at the right place at the right time, taking pictures of police action and criminals and things like that. And so this was the kind of thing that Ouija would do, where he would get there before the ambulance even got there and just get the people crawling out of the car wreck. And so uh, it's really more of an artwork than I realized at the time. At the time, it was kind of just a joke that there was this big car wreck there, and Debbie just crawled into it and crawled out looking like, you know, she had just been in this crash. Uh, in fact, we sent it to a lot of magazines, and a lot of magazines wanted to know what the story was, like, what, what is this car crash all about? And I said, well, actually, it's not about anything. We just made up this picture as a joke, and you can just make up any caption that you want. And so a lot of people printed it, and most of them had fun with it, making up funny captions, uh, although the German magazines wanted to know what the actual facts were and, and what the story behind the picture was. And I wouldn't tell them, because there was no story behind the picture. It was just a picture taken on the street one night, uh, you know, as Debbie, Harry, and I were walking by.